Hi, everybody. We are going to continue our countdown to Mars 2020. And today I'm going to talk to you about oceans on Mars and the relationship there is between oceans and life. We pretty much all agree on the fact that there was an ocean on Mars. I think that the signs are here over the years. A body of evidence has started to build up. What we are not so sure about is the age of that ocean. And for a while, we thought that it might be 3.7 to 3.5 billion years ago. And then in 2018, there was this new study that showed that, well, the signs that we think are related to an ocean on Mars, mainly the uh, shorelines that we see all around the northern plain, well, there might be a good explanation for those shorelines. And uh, this study relates to the building up of the uh, volcanoes on Tarsis with this uh, shoreline. So how is this possible? Basically, you have to imagine that the volcanoes of Tarsis are huge. You don't have to imagine them. You know that they are 25 kilometers high and they build up not at once, but in a series of episodes over time. And when you do that, you have a huge amount of lava that's pushing down, weighting down on the crust very progressively over the years. And so what you have is this water level that's the same, but at the same time, the crust is going down. So your terraces are going to be at different levels uh, over time. And so this study uh, thinks this is what we are seeing uh, with uh, uh, the shorelines in the northern plain. If that's the case, that gives us a really good marker on uh, when the ocean was already there on Mars in the northern plain, and that would be as early as 3.9, 3.8 billion years ago, which is about when uh, Tarsis started to build. Why is this important? This is taking us back in time, and as far as oceans are concerned and life is concerned, the earlier the better, uh, because an ocean is going to uh, give us a number of very critical things for life. It's going to give us a shelter, the amount of water that life can have on top of its head, energy, if you have black smokers, and I'll get back to that in a moment, and nutrients, and of course water. Uh, so how does this relate to, uh, to life and the origins of life? We, we are not so sure about how life originated on Earth in the first place. Some people debate the fact that it was along black smokers, uh, those chimneys with lots of energy at the bottom of the ocean that are related to the magma going through fractures, etc. Some of the people think that, well, yes, it was uh, uh, around energy centers, hydrothermal springs, like water and magma going into contact, but inland, not in the ocean. And other people think that life arose on Earth uh, in tidal pools. But regardless of that, the notion is still very good. And going back to the black smokers, just because... Tharsis was building and weighting down so much on the crust, we can see very, very clearly a series of faults and fractures going from Tharsis down to the northern plain. And believe me, uh, that's a right recipe to create the kind of black smoker, a black smoker environment that we see uh, uh, on Earth. So, again, why is it important that we see oceans early uh, on uh, Mars? Is because well, you need to give time to life. You need to give time to life not only to get together, to organize, but also uh, once the ocean evaporates, this life would have had to adapt to different environment. And how you do that is by using waterways. And oceans are great dispersal mechanism. You can disperse life through those waterways at the surface. You can go disperse life through uh, the ocean floor, but you can also disperse life through the waterways that are going inland from the ocean the shorelines that to the hymen. Also, uh, there is another model that was uh, proposed many years ago, 20, feet, uh, 20 years ago, by Clifford and Parker. We would place an ocean even earlier than the one that we see if it's related to Tarsis around 3.9 billion years ago. And that would be an ocean that would have started by the movement of water from the south to the north. We know that the topography on Mars is going through the south to the north. You have the highland uh, and the plateaus that is high and the northern plain that are very low. So, through time, water always moves 
from the south to the north. And in doing so, it filled basin, large basin like a Hellas and Argars, but also went through waterways. And if life was there, that was a fantastic environment to disperse. And what do you do when you're dispersing life? Well, you are forcing life to get adapted to new environment. And the more life has to adapt to new environment, the more resilient it becomes. And the earlier we can do that, first, the better chance that life has to stay uh, for a while at the surface of Mars before conditions change, but also the more resilient it's going to get and the more abundant it's going to get. Therefore, the greater the chance that we will have to find a record of biosignature. And this is how oceans on Mars relate to the search for biosignature on Mars with the Mars 2020 rover. So I hope you enjoyed this explanation and we'll see each other next time for another episode of Countdown to Mars 2020. Thank you very much. Stay tuned and stay safe. Bye-bye.